We're back now with our series, Show Me the Money, where we travel around the country helping people find their unclaimed cash. Ike Ajachi took our show on the road to Pennsylvania, and he's here to tell us how much money we found. Good morning, Ike. Good morning, Michael. We're just a couple of days away from Thanksgiving, so we thought, what better place than a high school football game? So we traveled to Royers Ford, Pennsylvania, and the community of Springford for a playoff game. Now, those fans there, they were fired up as they rooted for those players on the field, but it was what was happening off the field at our Show Me the Money booth that really got them cheering. It's Friday night under the lights. And it feels like the whole community has shown up for the big game. But we're here to show these fans some big bucks. Yo, who wants some free money? The Pennsylvania Treasury Department quarterbacking our Show Me the Money booth. Folks lining up to see if they have any unclaimed money, which can come from easy to miss sources like utility rebates or even long forgotten bank accounts. This woman ringing that bell after finding 170 bucks owed to her from an insurance company. These football parents headed for the end zone with a check worth $276. You got the cash. You want to go for a pass? Let's go, man. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. Even some of the kids here getting in the game. Yeah. For this woman who found more than a grand, 1200 bucks. <laughs> her daughter already has a grand plan. So what are you going to spend it on? Toys. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and of course, no game is complete without an official. Meet Pennsylvania treasurer Stacy Garrity, who shared some big news with these siblings after they looked up their dad's name. Nice little surprise for your dad, almost $6,000. Right now, a lot of families are struggling with inflation, and having a little bit of extra cash can go a long way to help these families. This mother-daughter finding $326 for grandma and grandpa, old stocks dating back to the 80s. How do you feel about that? Well, actually, super cool because I am a part-time caregiver for my elderly mom, and private care is not cheap. So actually, this is something we actually need. But we had just one more play up our sleeves. And for that, we enlist the Spring Ford cheerleaders. Can I get a little drum roll, too? Revealing the school district had the biggest victory of all. That money, old real estate tax payments still owed to them. The district and school board will decide the best use for the money. High school principal Dr. Robert Collier, grateful. Thank you for showing us the money. <laughs> Absolutely. We walked off the field with a lot of big wins today, but there's just one more thing left to say. How about that? Now, in addition to that 231K, that night we were able to give back more than $25,000 directly to the fans at our booth. Now, the Treasury Department officials manning that booth were doing something very similar to what you can do at home right now. Go to your state's website or missingmoney.com, look up your name and any city you've ever lived in to see if you have any money that rightfully belongs to you. No catch. And if you're asked to give money or any money or any percentage of what you find, that's not an official government website. The site, again, is missingmoney.com. Guys? How good did it make you feel to make it rain under those Friday night lights? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I love it. I just wish they could share some with me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, now, I thank you.